Hi everybody, my name is Mary and today I will be reacting to Game of Thrones Season 3, Episode 4. Let's go! Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction to Game of Thrones. I got a little bit of tea with me. I find it so hard when I watch these back to back to comment in between the episodes because it's like you pause a film and someone's like, so what's your opinion on the film? And you're like, but I haven't seen the whole film yet. It's kind of how I feel now. I, I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. I'm a bit shocked with that uh, Jamie hand chop off situation. <laughs> so I'm curious to see, are they going to kill him? We shall see. I have no clue. But I had a question that I realized during the my little break between episodes. And it's what I did with, for example, Harry Potter was I read the books first because they came out when I was at that age to read the books and then afterwards the films were made. So I watched the films. But wait, Game of Thrones, did you read the books? Like, is it still useful to read the books after you've seen the series? Because I really like this series, so I do think I would enjoy the books as well. But what I don't know is how it feels to first watch the series and then read the books. Because I noticed that a lot of people, like with different series or movies, are like, yeah, if you have seen the series, you will never enjoy the books anymore. So you kind of need to read it first before you watch it. I don't know if that's a thing here. So if you have watch the series and read the books in a different order like let me know what order you consumed them in and if you like that and what you would recommend like should i still read the books or not <laughs> just a little bit of advice asking you if you like these reactions make sure to like and subscribe on patreon you can watch the full versions of my reactions and also i put up a lot of polls on there to vote on what movies i should watch next so if you're like ooh. I want to vote uh, for the next movie, so you can do that over there. I'm excited to hop into this one. I will probably watch another after. I'm horrible. Next time, I cannot take out so much time for this because I'm going to fill all the time that I have to watch this until I go to bed. And that's what I'm doing now, but I'm enjoying it a lot. Let's go. <laughs> Let's see if we start out with Jamie today. Yeah, of course. Oh my god, it's- oh! It's hanging on him. She loosened you up for us. <laughs> Is he not in excruciating pain? He's going to fall off his horse. Someone help him! Oh, shit. Oh, man, we just chopped off hand. Come on. I die, you Oh, enough. Can't say that I've ever seen a man drink horse piss that fast. I was right when he said it. I was thinking that. <laughs> right when he said it. I find it so weird that in this whole group, there's not one decent person who doesn't enjoy the mocking. I, I don't know if this is a good idea. Oh, yeah, you're... you're dead. Stop! Did she just knock someone out while being tied up? Are you tied up or tied down in English? Tied down? Oh, come on, get, I, I, I really have an issue watching things like this. Wrong hand. Do that again, and I'll take your other hand. I'm so surprised how they didn't get to Brianna with the sapphires in mind but with him they go so far you would think they would go their way with her as well i thought one of your little birds might have knowledge of my sister's intentions i need proof proof will there be a trial i need to know i was going to tell you the story of how i was cut you want to hear it still i don't know do i do we as a boy with a hook to blade, he sliced me, root and stem. He burned my parts in a brazier. The flames turned blue, and I heard a voice answer his call. I have hated magic and all those who practice it. But you can see why I was eager to aid in your fight against Stannis. As symbolic revenge of sorts. <clears throat> I feel the need for actual revenge against the actual person who tried to have me <laughs> He's killed. like, I don't really care for your story. <laughs> <laughs> like a life-changing moment in your life. I, I don't need to hear it. <laughs> Influence grows like a weed. I tended mine patiently, where I managed to wrap them around something very special. 
sorcerer. Holy what? It's been a long time. What is heavy? Pardoning crimes, protecting the realm, but this series has the ability to be like, oh, that's dark, and then in the same scene it gets like darker. <laughs> when you're not getting attacked or killed, usually he's shoveling. We need to get out of here. Well, what do you think? They were not gonna poop anymore once he cleaned it. <laughs> you know what's out there. Crust has been out here, surviving. Our good friend Crusta. We're like the sons he never had. Yeah, <laughs> it's not a good thing. If we want to live, we'll have to look out for ourselves. Gilly, that was her name. Oh man, the whole previous episode, I was like, Ellie, Gully, Gilly. That's beautiful. Can you not start calling him a she and a her just so you wouldn't know? Like, it's not like he's gonna come and check it, right? And not soon, at least. Gilly. I said to hold it for you until you came back. Okay? That's beautiful. I don't want your stupid symbol. I want to save my baby's life. Can you do that? Can you? You didn't have much time. It's so heartbreaking. Also, the fact that it's not even useful to give him a name. Oh. You have to go after him. Oh. Now he's gonna Brandon. fall. How many times have I told you? Is this like a fear he needs to get over? Promise me! Promise me! Promise me! Promise me! The fear of falling? Which makes sense. No larger than usual, apparently. And yet they said that he was... Extraordinary. Well, the most extraordinary man they've ever had. What are they talking about, Paul? And they've had a lot of men. We're talking about the same Podrick. Quiet boy in Lord Tyrion's service. Seems a bit simple. What did he do to them? They said it was hard to describe. Maybe they just all agreed that he didn't have to do anything. Find it such a strange story. <laughs> he hasn't spoken to us since the last time, as far as I know. But I don't think he's lost interest. What makes you say so? His shipboard inventory. Oh, whoa, she's like... You can read. Rare for a woman in your profession. Two feather beds. He's bringing two feather beds for the cabin. <laughs> for a guy that smart, you would think that he would notice that. Could he be bringing one of his girls? He's not interested in them, my lord. How do you know? Because I'm one of his girls. Why is she playing with him as well? Why is she speaking about Littlefinger to him? Are you sure Lady Marjorie doesn't find all this a bit macabre? Oh, no, it's quite all right, Your Grace. I'd love to see their tombs, really. <sighs> it's like taking a walk through history. Man, I really thought that Sansa was a good faker. <laughs> I really hope she's faking because... Mm. We mothers do what we can to keep our sons from the grave. They do seem to yearn for it. And yet the world belongs to them. A ridiculous arrangement in my mind. <laughs> the gods have seen fit to make it so. Are you saying it to yourself, or do you actually mean that? <laughs> Their ancestors built this. Sometimes severity is the price we pay for greatness. I couldn't agree more. Ah, what do I make of her? Is she... What? Did, oh, who is she? What does she want? If you give them your love, they will return it a thousandfold. You led the defense of King's Landing. They adore. Uh, open the doors i would i would be well maybe you should go to free maybe just go into the group of the mess of people bye what's the purpose of this what's she i cannot get her Your sister's waiting for you there. She sent you to save me. Yeah. Or she's just waiting to make a child with him that becomes the new king and then be like, bye. He's so fit after getting a screw in his foot. Thought I was a Stark. I could never be a Stark. Rob Stark always reminded me of that. Are you sure he actually did that? I am born. That's what I was born to be. The iron price for him to fall. Are you happy now? I murdered those boys. The Stark boys. And the farmer's Found kids. Them. Some poor orphans living with a farmer. So I could keep Winterfell. Maybe it's not too late. It is. 
the destiny that he got while living is so much better than the destiny he was born into and still he didn't grab the opportunity oh. made a choice and i chose wrong and i burned everything down not everything my lord she's up here i find it so hard because we all make mistakes and he wanted to be loved by his real dad and you cannot really like that's something that you can understand but the things that he did for that was like i brought him back he he killed the others what no i didn't you can't wait what the put him back where he belongs oh my god he absolutely tricked him he freed him just so he could show that he that's what i said one of the last episodes i was like Someone might save you, but what if you they actually set you up first so they could save you? And that's 100 percent what happened here. He freed him just so he could capture him and take him back. What are you doing? What a mind. I'm dying. You can't die. You need to live to take revenge. And also he, he admitted about, about the boys. I saw it hand. I was that hand. You sound like a bloody woman. Sorry. I know what you did for me. You told them Tarth was full of sapphires. It's called the Sapphire Isle because of the blue of its water. Oh no. You knew that. They didn't. Why did you help me? That's what I love about this show. How they deepen out characters. Like there's a whole situation like somebody has so many different sides and this show really portrays that very well. What about him? I wanted to make sure we're doing everything we can to get him back. Well, if I would start a war for that lecherous little stump, what do you think I am doing for my eldest son and heir? Whatever you can. Whatever I can. You're still here. Yes. Good Why? catch. <laughs> Did it ever occur to you that I might be the one who deserves your confidence and your trust? Not your sons, not Jamie or Tyrion, but me. wonder if he's going to put her in her place right now or if he's going to go along with it. The Tyrells are a problem. The Tyrells helped us defeat Stannis Baratheon. But... Marjorie has her claws in Joffrey. She knows how to manipulate him. Good. I wish you knew how to manipulate him. <laughs> I distrust you because you're not as smart as you think you are. You've allowed that boy to ride roughshod over you and everyone else in this city. Thank you. He has zero control over him. Perhaps you should try stopping him from doing what he likes. I will. Good luck, chap. <laughs> Growing strong. Ha! The dullest words of any house. Winter is coming. Now oh, that's memorable. <laughs> Look, little loves. A spider in the garden. Run along now. Grow strong. <laughs> Mocking her own house. <laughs> the city is made brighter by my presence. Is that your usual line, Lord Varys? You here to seduce me? Oh no, please. Seduce away. It's been so long. Though I rather think it's all for naught. What happens when the non existent bumps against the decrepit? <laughs> Question for the philosophers. Did you come mincing all this way? Oh, rough. So? My <laughs> Now, you've taken an interest in Sansa Stark. Have I? Why shouldn't I take an interest? She's an interesting girl. Is she? No, not particularly. <laughs> I could not help Lord Stark. Perhaps I can help his daughter. How? Why would you care? You're not the only one who has taken an interest in her. She'd make a lovely match for the right suitor. It always feels as if you're about to arrive at the... Loras? If Rob Stark falls, Sansa Stark is the key to the north. And if Littlefinger marries her, he'll have the key in his pocket. But he would see this country burn if he could be king of the ashes. Oh. I believe I have a possible solution. One doesn't need to be clever for that. It's all rather obvious, isn't it? But that, then she needs to marry someone who doesn't... <laughs> Loras doesn't like women. Does she never have love? What did you pray for? I can't tell you. I'm sorry, I just... Just... Just lie. When I was 12, I was all elbows and knees, and Alana looked like a goddess sent to torture me. I think it had something to do with my nose. Whenever she passed me in the hall, she'd They're oink. not rather fine. <laughs> I want us to be friends. Good friends. That would make me very happy. I don't trust her at all. You must see High Garden. I don't think the Queen would let me leave King's Landing. Once I marry Joffrey, I'll be Queen. And if you were to marry... She's in the plan. 
Oh, your place would be at High Garden, wouldn't it? We would be sisters, you and I. Would you like that? Oh, she deserves so much better than this mess. Oh, I swip. I like. I, I completely shifted towards her compared to the first season. Having you, Bannon, could smell so good. <laughs> you ever meet a man with 99 sons? I don't think you have 99 sons, though. Wait outside. It's cold outside, and there's nothing to eat. My wives give you bread. You don't like it. You go out there and eat the snow. It is surprising that they have not attacked him. Is it because they're so honorable? Because, yeah, this makes sense that they're like, who's going to defend you, all your wives? Against these fighters? We'll give you crows enough. Gotta feed my women! So you admit you've got a hidden larder then? Ah! How do you hear little thief? I'll chop the hands off the next man who calls me bastard. How is he gonna sleep tonight? You are a bastard. <gasps> Whoa! Daughter fucking wildling bastard. <laughs> I shall have your head. <gasps> Holy what? No way! Oh my god. Oh my god! Quickly! Quickly! What's happening? I'm not going out no, We have to go! Follow me! I know the best way! Oh, but gonna, are they gonna be safe out? Out there with no food? Freezing? Run fast, piggy! I'll be cutting your throat one of these nights! Jeez. What is it? Blackstrap rum. For once, I'm not too worried about her. They seem to be nice to her so far. What is this place? And she is of value, so... You want to cut my throat? Get on with it! But don't call me murderer. You murdered Micah, the butcher's boy. My friend. Aye, he was a bleeder. You don't deny killing this boy. You stand accused of murder. I sentence you to trial by combat. Against who? To find out if your fire guard really loves you, priest. Or is the little girl the bravest one here? Hi. She might be. No, 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 we're not gonna, no. But it's me you'll find. Oh, thank God. All these people are so brave with the dueling to death against one person. I would be like, yeah, you can duel to the death with someone else. <laughs> I, I don't need to be part of this duel to the death. The master says they are untested. He says you would be wise to blood them early. That's a lot of fighters. I can see her using this dragon to be like, and just taking it with her. Oh, I still it's a bit small though. I can't believe she's actually gonna give him away. I, mm. But if she doesn't, are the soldiers gonna follow her? Is it done then? This is done. What's he gonna do with his dragon? <laughs> oh my god! She heard everything that he said! What did I tell you? Okay, I didn't think it was gonna be this intense. I thought they were just gonna get him. <laughs> That's really scary, though. Having that little thing in your hand and suddenly they listen. Yikes. There was no way she was gonna give up a dragon. Now she has her army. Isn't that also what she had to show to be a real Khaleesi or a get a Kalasar? How strong she was? <laughs> That's a lot of people. 
und Clive Suri. Geht zu Tubi. Und ich sehe die Willi Bielas. Und Dari Valotti. This is so double. Like, if they were trained to not think anymore. I have goosebumps. What a badass woman. I didn't think it was gonna shift like that. Like I did believe she was gonna get them and that their owner was gonna die, but the whole free people. Oh, cool. I feel like I'm watching the most, the longest, most amazing film. I feel like the, <laughs> what I said in the beginning is that the first episodes were like a start to get into it. And I feel like now we're like, boom, we're in it. North of the wall, there's drama. Here's there's drama. Full on conspiracies going on everywhere. I'm excited for the next one. I love this show. I'm totally, I'm totally in love with it. But I think... I don't even need to tell you that anymore <laughs> to be that obvious. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you like this reaction. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.